What is up guys? We are back today for another live in the Gen 7 OU tier. I'm gonna eventually have to stop saying Gen 7 when it becomes the actual OU tier and Gen 6 is officially a thing of the past. But for right now, we are using a really cool team that I actually wanted to make a quick modification to. Was switching this for this and that's a lot better. There we go. Okay, so basically we're using a speed pass team. Uh, it's not something I like playing against, so it's really not something that I like using, but it is a kind of team that wins so uh, we're gonna be using this we also have smear on here which is a great hazard stacker uh, because of spore so uh, it gets to set up multiple layers especially on slower Pokemon as long as you don't get fast taunted you should be good to go so what we're gonna do here is we're going to find a battle of course and uh, we're gonna see how well we can do with this team I did pass this team over to Ethan Redithan so he might have a live out with it as well if you want to go check out his channel I'll leave a link to it in the description down below and, uh, yeah, so it's taking quite a while to find about. Okay, there we go. We got one. All right. Kiram looking like a threat. Whew. All right. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to lead off with Smeargle. He's probably going to lead off with Genesect, and I'm just going to get up my rocks because he doesn't have any hazard removal. So, he actually chooses to lead with Roserade. Interesting play. Uh, he might have Sleep Powder. Uh, that is a thing. But we're just going to go for uh, Stealth Rocks. He does land the Sleep Powder. That's fine. I'm going to attempt to go for rocks again. He might just sludge bomb us. He does, even though we have a poison type, which is okay. Uh, if we wake up, we do. Awesome. So we're able to get up our rocks. He's going to have to hit us with another another sleep powder. Let's see if he can. Uh, he doesn't. Okay, he just attacks. Interesting. All right, he's going to go for hidden power. I'm assuming that's hidden power fire. Uh, I'm going to go out into Scallopy, and we're going to go for a substitute. So you guys are going to eventually see the power of this team and what it can actually do. He goes for hidden power. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to go for the Protect right here, and then we're going to go for another uh, Substitute on the following turn. Uh, I might actually just want to go for Sub right away. Huh. Yeah, I'm going to go for another Sub right away, because people typically expect Protect. I guess this guy doesn't. It's fine. Let's go for the Hidden Power again. He's getting weakened. Uh, I'm going to Protect right here, gain back some health. Basically, what this team can do is it can just sweep a team uh, with a certain member, and you'll eventually see what it is. Uh, but I'm going to go for another sub right here. He's going to take some more life orb damage, which is what I'm uh, hoping uh, for, actually, is for him to continuously take life orb damage. Uh, and we're going to go for another protect right here. If he wants to switch out, that's fine. Uh, he's just going to go for another hidden power, also fine. And now we're going to go for one final sub and a poison jab to an offensive Roserade from this amount of health. Should be able to do the job, so let's go for that. Hopefully I'm not wrong on this calc. Hopefully we get this off. And we do. Awesome. Okay, so we're able to take out the Roserade, get a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit of uh, leftovers back. And uh, our Scallopede is still decently healthy, so it's looking good. Alright, let's see what my opponent wants to do. Mimikyu would actually be a pretty good play. But I do have a, a solid check to Mimikyu in, uh, in Mega Scizor. Um, Bisharp does pretty well because it does have faster priority than its Shadow Sneak with Sucker Punch, so that's nice. Uh, Iron Head also does a clean amount of damage, so... Anyway... Uh, if he goes into Mimikyu, I might just uh, straight Baton Pass. He does go into Metagross, though. Okay, so this is good. This is very, very good. What I'm going to do here, guys, is I'm going to Baton Pass uh, into... Actually, that might do a lot of damage. Uh, <laughs> I'm not feeling that. I'm not feeling that. Um, let's actually Baton Pass here into Bisharp. Hopefully, he doesn't go for the EQ. That would suck. Let's go for it. See what happens. As he goes for the EQ, okay. Alright, we live it though, we live it, okay. Alright, I don't know if he's gonna want to take a Sucker Punch, but that's exactly what we're gonna go for. Okay, he's gonna switch out into Pukumuku, that's fine. Uh, I'm actually gonna go for the Sword Dance right here. And, uh, I don't know what he's gonna click, but... Let's find out. He's going to go for the Soak, turn me into a Water type, which is also fine. Uh, and now what I'm actually gonna- why would you go for Soak? That's interesting. Huh. I'm not sure why you would do that. For steel types to poison them? I'm gonna go for sub. Let's see. Uh, he goes for toxic. Yup, there we go. And now we're Bisharp behind a sub. Alright, let's go for another swords dance right here. We are looking pretty comfy right now. We're gonna go for another one. He's gonna go for a recover. That's fine. And I'm gonna go for another swords dance right here. He can't really do anything to me. Uh, as he goes for another recover. Yep, he's not doing anything right now. And uh, we're going to Iron Head. He shouldn't go down to this, in theory. Yeah, he only takes 32%. Gets flinched. Awesome. Let's go for another Iron Head. Uh, basically, what we can do is we can get this thing down pretty low. 
and then we can just start swords dancing uh, until he's out of uh, recovers and we're pretty healthy. That's going to be the objective right here. So I'm just going to keep going for swords dance actually because he can't touch me. He can't do anything to me. He's stuck in here. It's a pretty, it's like, it's a stall war basically at this point, but I'm glad he went for soak and gave me the, uh, the ability to sub up. That was awesome. But uh, we did lose our stabs, unfortunately. We don't have stab uh, Iron Head or stab uh, Sucker Punch anymore, but it's fine. Uh, he's just going to keep clicking Soak. How much PP does Soak have? 32. Uh, yeah, we should be able to get out of this. I'm going to go for Iron Head again. It's going to be doing a good amount of damage to him. I don't know what his last move is, though. He goes for another Soak. That's fine. Uh, we are going to repeatedly click Iron Head here as this thing is going to have to continuously recover as well, so that's good. If, if ever we get a crit, then that's going to pretty much put him in range of another one, so... Uh, let's see, go for another Iron Head here, as he goes... Uh, get, he gets flinched, so I'm actually not going to attack him on this turn. I'm just going to go for Swords Dance, waste one of his, um, his recovers. There we go. And now we'll go for another Iron Head. I don't know what his last move is. I really don't. I can't think of what it would be. Maybe Pain Split? Uh, but then why would you have recover, right? Uh, I'm gonna go for another Iron Head here, because he might be tempted not to recover. Uh, and if we can do a lot of damage to this thing, that'd be great. Yep, and if we get a crit right here or a flinch, then this Piku Muku is gone, and we do not die to its innards out. Uh, and that'll put us in a great position. Let's see, we do not get the flinch, unfortunately, but that is gonna waste another recover, which is nice. Uh, as now I'm going to go for a Swords Dance, as he is going to go for another Recover, awesome. And we need to weaken this thing back down. <laughs> this is really annoying, but anyway, it's fine. We're going to run this thing out of Recovers if we can. He's going to get flinched on that turn, we're going to go for another Iron Head. Uh, and eventually, eventually, we'll get there. Uh, as this thing takes... Okay, he just um, put himself in the same position as before. So if we get a, a Crit or a Flinch here... We are looking good. Uh, so we actually get a high roll, and we're able to knock out the, uh, the Pikumuku, and his innards out did nothing to me, really. Um, and now Sucker Punch and Iron Head is just gonna, it's gonna sweep him up, man. Let's go for the Iron Head here. We'll break this thing's uh, disguise, and we are very fast, very strong Bisharp right now. As he goes for the play rough, knocks us, uh, knocks out our sub. That's fine. We're gonna go for an iron, another Iron Head right here. And I think Iron Head and Sucker Punch should be able to clean up this game. Bisharp put it in work. I'm glad I switched out for Sucker Punch as well. I mean, in this case, uh, Knock Off would have been better, but he is going to forfeit right there. And uh, we are going to find another game. So that's just one of the Speed Pass targets. You guys are hopefully going to see the other two. Um, I think that one of them can definitely put in work this game. Yep. Okay, it's looking good. All right, so... Let's uh, once again lead off with Smeargle. We are faster than Breloom as well, which is really good. As I'm going to go for the uh, for the Stealth Rocks, I think. He does not He does have a Hazard Remover, however. So I have to keep that in mind. He's probably just going to go for the Mach Punch, realistically. Um, yeah, let's go for Stealth Rocks. It's fine. He goes for Bullet Seed, actually, and knocks us out. So that was a good play. Uh, I'm going to go into Scallopede right here. Yeah, I'm going to go into Scallopede. We're going to click sub, and we'll see what he wants to do. He is going to go for the swords dance, actually. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to go for the poison jab, and get rid of this Breloom with a crit. Oh, that's unfortunate. I don't think I don't know if that would have knocked him out because I'm not offensive. So, uh, he's going to go into Starmie. What I'm going to do is actually baton pass this speed out into Silvali. And Silvali is a ghost. We have the ghost memory on this thing. So, now we can T-Bolt right here. Actually, we can just Shadow Ball freely yeah and we have a lot of speed right now so this is really good this is looking pretty good as he's going to actually switch out into the magician which is Rotom Heat he's gonna take a shadow ball it's 40 percent does have the leftovers so he will be able to take the next one uh, and he will more more than likely be able to break our sub but that's absolutely fine because his Rotom Heat is now gone I am never allowing him to spin ever <laughs> I'm telling you that right now he's gonna go out into uh, the priestess which is uh, Nihilego all right that's cool, that's cool. Uh, Nihilego typically can't really touch Bisharp, though. Huh. I do want to keep Silvali, so we're going to go into Bisharp. As he goes for a Sludge Bomb, yep. And now we're going to go for the sub right here, as he goes for Stealth Rocks. Beautiful. I don't know if he can even touch me, so I'm just going to go for Swords Dance. As uh, this is looking pretty good. He's going to go for Power Gem. That It does actually knock out our sub, which is uh, something I did not know. Uh, and we're just going to go for the, uh, actually, you know what I could do? I could probably Swords Dance again. 
No, I'm just gonna Iron Head, it's fine. Power Jump's gonna do 31, okay, so it wasn't doing that much. Uh, we're gonna get another crit, that one did not matter, I can tell you guys that right now. Uh, now the good news is, we have Sucker Punch online. So let's go for Sucker Punch right here. And we're able to knock out the Genesect, so goodbye. And uh, now he's forced into Zygarde, and if this thing is not max speed, which it is actually, uh, he's gonna take an Iron Head, he's not gonna appreciate that at all. And uh, eventually he's gonna have to attack me, so I'm just gonna go for the... Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna go for the Sucker Punch. He actually has E-Speed, okay. Uh, I'm gonna Sucker Punch again, expecting him not to E-Speed this time. Uh, yep, there it is, and the Emperor is gone. And now all that's left is this army and my opponent forfeits. So we are at 10 minutes, two wins, looking pretty good. Hopefully we can keep this to a 20 minute episode. I like when I get quick games like this, this is, this is nice. Okay, so we speed passed out into Silvali, we speed passed out into Bisharp. There's still one more Pokemon that I absolutely have to show you guys. Like, the, just the power, the straight power when it has speed. Oh, hopefully we can pull it off this game. I'm really, really hoping. I've been making my best plays. I've been trying to avoid um, speed passing it into, it into it at the wrong time. But uh, I think that this game, even if we don't have a good matchup for it, I'm going to try to do it. Win or loss, uh, I want to show you guys. I will get the speed pass off into it, and we will try to sweep with speed boosted Necrozma. So let's uh, let's wait for a game. Once again, taking quite a while. I mean, there's a lot of battles, and I don't understand. Uh, there's 99 battles right now, <laughs> just under 100. That's amazing. Okay, so we have a probably a lead Mamoswine on the opposing side, which beats lead Smeargle, which is a little bit annoying. Um, and I don't have any hazard removal on this team either. I'm going to attempt to lead off with Smeargle, as my opponent leads off with Tapu Koko, actually. Okay. Uh, now, we got to remember that we're in electric terrain, so we can't actually spore anything. So that's that's very, very important to remember. Now, actually, getting up sticky webs this game may be a little bit more important than getting up um, stealth rocks. I know he has a Volcarona. Uh, no, I think Stealth Rocks are better. He's gonna go for T-Bolt, that's fine. Is he Life Orb? Yes, he is. Awesome. So we're gonna get off an extra hit of Life Orb on him before we have to get out of here. Uh, well, not get out of here, but I'm gonna go for Webs in case he doesn't want to attack for whatever reason. But the Rocks are now up, and they are here to stay because my opponent does not have a single bit of Hazard removal on, on his team. We're gonna go into uh, Scallopede right here, which uh, I can protect on this top of Coco and then go for Sub. Follow it up with a Poison Jab and knock him out, and then we'll, uh, we'll work from there. Uh, he's actually going to switch out directly into Gengar. Okay, interesting. Uh, we're going to go for the substitute right here. And uh, then eventually I'm going to baton past my speed uh, out into uh, Bisharp. And Bisharp can put out, uh, put in a lot of work. I know I said I wanted to do it into Necrozma. He's going to go for Trick. That's not going to work. Uh, so now he's going to be forced to switch out, actually. Uh, and what he would go into would probably be either Mamoswine or back into Tapu Koko. I think either way, Bisharp is my play. Or I can take this as an opportunity to baton pass into Necrozma, finally. So yeah, you know what? We're gonna do that. We're going to... Actually... I'm gonna go for a Poison Jab first, as he goes into Gyarados. He doesn't get the Intimidate because we're behind a sub. We're gonna get off this nice, juicy Poison Jab. We're gonna go for another one, guys. And I'm gonna pick my battles. I'm gonna choose when I'm going to baton pass out. It's gonna be a very, very crucial moment. I know this thing is mega. Uh, we're gonna be faster than it, and two poison jabs are gonna kill anyway, so I'm not really concerned. Uh, Mamoswine is the only issue, but if he goes into Mamoswine at any given moment, that is gonna allow me to bring in my Necrozma, so that's, uh, that's looking okay. I'm thinking he's probably also Life Orb Mamoswine. Two poison jabs should still not knock this out after the Mega Evolution as it looks like they will, and uh, I think we're just going to go for another one. He doesn't have a Steel type on his team, so this is fine. And uh, yeah, now we got a very, very fast Scallopede on our hands. He might switch out here, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know why he would keep his Gyarados, but yeah, there we go. Awesome. So now this thing takes 50, we know this is Trick, uh, probably Scarfed, um, and we know that this is weak to me. Uh, he's going to go into Volcarona directly. Um, that's a little bit scary. Let's go for sub, because if he quivers, then we're still faster. He's just going to go for Fiery Dance. Uh, I don't want this thing getting too many boosts. I'm scared of this. Um, hmm, I don't have any sp super effective coverage on Silvali either, though. 
That's not good. Okay. Alright, we're going to baton pass this out into Silvali. As he's going to go for another Fiery Dance. It's going to do a good amount of damage. However, it is not a two-hit KO. And we will be able to Shadow Ball him. Uh, and even if he quivers, we're still faster. So this should be fine. Uh, I'm going to... Okay, we get a crit. That's kind of nice. And a Spadef drop. He goes for another Fiery Dance. Uh, and I'm actually going to... No, I'm just going to go for another Shadow Ball here. I have no reason not to. If he goes into the High Dragon, I'm going to catch him off guard with an Ice Beam anyway. So we're going to get rid of the Volcarona, which is nice. That was the biggest threat. Like, fire types threaten this team so much. It's insane. We have three Fire Weeks and then the Necrozma that can't take special hits. Mamoswine is going to come back in. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let this go down, actually, to his Ice Shard. That's fine. Is he Life Orb? He might be Banded. Ooh. Okay, we're going to go into Scizor. We haven't seen Scizor yet this episode, so this is nice. We'll go for a Swords Dance. And I think Bullet Punch might actually be able to sweep him up. So this is our other sweeper. He goes for Earthquake, that's fine. We're gonna go for Bullet Punch right here. If he goes for Ice Shard, that's cool too. Uh, Hydreigon might eventually make an appearance because Gengar definitely does not take a plus two Bullet Punch. I don't even know if Hydreigon does actually. That crit didn't matter, by the way, guys. We are offensive. Even if he was max defense, he doesn't take that, so. In, in comes Hydreigon. We are gonna go for the Bullet Punch right here. Um, he might have Flamethrower. Uh, we get another crit. That sucks <laughs> for him. Uh, I don't know if it would have lived, honestly, I really don't, but uh, Showdown's being very, very mean <laughs> to people lately. Tom, uh, at the beginning of GBA Season 5, I believe it was, uh, Tom, the coach of the, uh, the Sharpedos, said that uh, he prefers Wi-Fi over Showdown because Showdown just has a knack for messing you up right when you don't want it to, so yeah, there's that. Um, okay, so good news. Uh, is that if Sableye Mega Evolves right here, we can get up a sub because he gains the speed tiering. So we can do that. However, Bisharp's very important. Bisharp, Bisharp is extremely important in this game. Um, yeah, you know what? Screw it. We're leading with it. He leads off with Sableye. This is fine. We are going to... Click sub, actually. He is going to Mega Evolve. He's going to go for the Fake Out, actually. Okay, that's great. Honestly, that is amazing. And we are going to go for Substitute right here. Let's see what he does. He goes for Will-O-Wisp. Awesome. Okay, cool. It worked. I also wanted to be able to, to have something to set up on Mega Sableye. So we're going to go for Swords Dance right here. He's going to go out into Skarmory. That's perfect. Uh, we're going to go for the... Oh, okay. Right, I don't have Knock Off anymore. That's annoying. Uh, he's going to Whirlwind me out into Necrozma. I'm going to go out into Smeargle directly. Uh, as I... Okay. <laughs> he just goes straight into C. <laughs> Alright. Um, he has no reason not to fake out, I think. So I'm going to go back into Bisharp. As he is going to Will-O-Wisp, actually. Okay, so great play. Uh, we are nullifying that with the... Um, with the leftovers, of course. I'm just going to go for... Uh, I don't have a knockoff anymore. That's what I wanted it on here for. <laughs> now I remember. Alright. We're going to go into... Um, Scallopede, right here, as he's going to switch out into his Skarmory, perfect, okay. So now what we're going to do is Baton Pass out directly into Silvali, and we're going to try to catch this thing off guard. He gets up a spike, that's fine. We're going to go for Thunderbolt, and hopefully he thinks that I can't hit him at all. Awesome, okay, that is exactly what he thinks. And he goes for Whirlwind and gets me back into Scallopede. So now, he's probably going to go for Roost. This is going to be a difficult game, dude. I don't even want... Do I just cut this out? You know what, guys? I'm going to try to win this on my own. And we're going to get one last one, but it's not going to be this. This is this is just horrendous. If, I, if I'm winning at the end, then I'll bring it back. Alright? We'll be right back. So yeah, guys. I lost. Um, <laughs> there, was, uh, there was no avoiding that. He just... Having the whirlwind on the Skarmory pretty much messed me up. But luckily, we don't get stalled this time. We can definitely deal with this team. And I swear... I'm gonna make it work. It, it might look bleak, but I am going to make this work. I swear. <laughs> Here we go. Alright, we're going to lead off with... Uh, let's lead off with Silvali because it beats, uh, like, five, seven of his members. Yes, seven of his members. <laughs> Amazing. We'll, uh, we'll try to get a an early KO on either Garchomp or um, Landorus by catching them off guard. 
and going for Ice Beam, which is very, very strong. Uh, much better than Hidden Power Ice, of course. I think it's stronger than Tapu Koko's Expert Belt in Hidden Power Ice, if I'm not mistaken. So, that's really nice. Um, alternative possible leads on his end. Uh, maybe, okay, not this. I wasn't expecting this to lead, but okay. I'll take it. Um, we'll go for Thunderbolt. I don't think he expected me to lead with Silvali either. Uh, this is going to do a good amount of damage. Awesome. He's going to go for Taunt. Cool. Uh, let's go for another T-Bolt. It hits uh, everything minus uh, like these three. And we get it off nice. He goes for a Moonblast. That's fine. And now we're going to go for... Uh, oh, we have to T-Bolt. Damn. Got a special attack drop. I can't even Shadow Ball now. Well, actually, T-Bolt was doing how much? Uh, 46. So, yeah, I can Shadow Ball, actually. He's going to go out into Landorus, which is awesome. We're going to get a good chunk off there. We don't see an item. Uh, and that Shadow Ball did a good amount for a minus one special attack. So I think he might be... Let's go for Ice Beam. He might be Scarfed, but... Uh, we'll see right here if he is. He's actually going to double back into Magna Zone. Okay, this is fine. Uh, we had a chance to freeze him there. We didn't, of course, but that's okay. Uh, that's absolutely fine. He's probably just going to go for a Volt Switch because I don't have uh, a Ground type. So I'm actually just going to go for another Ice Beam right here. We are, we are faster. Okay, this confirms no Scarf, which is great. And now we're going to go for a Flamethrower because it's our better move to hit him with. So there we go. We do get a burn, unfortunately, from my opponent. And uh, now we're going to go out into Scallopede and we are going to set up a Substitute. And if he wants to go into Landorus, that's absolutely fine. Let's see what he does. Uh, I would go into Torn if I was my opponent because I can taunt, do a lot of different things. There's Tapu Fini. Okay, cool. That gets knocked out by a Poison Jab, so that's nice. I'm going to do that right away. I'm going to get rid of this thing. And then what we can even do is we can Baton Pass our speed into Smeargle and start getting up our hazards. So that's, that's another thing you can do, actually. I think we've passed into every other member at this point. So... He goes into Metagross, this is fine. We can just uh, baton pass this sub out into Bisharp, I think. It's fine. Um, yep, let's do that. Let's baton pass here. He's going to go for what? Let's find out. He's going to go for the Thunder Punch, which is going to knock out our sub, which is fine. I'm actually going to go for another substitute right here in case he wants to switch out for whatever reason. But he doesn't. He just stays in and goes for Hammer Arm, which is cool because he's lowering his speed in the process. Uh, Hammer Arm, I think, can miss as well, right? So let's go for another sub. Let's see if he can miss it. That would be awesome. He's going to go for another one. That's fine. And uh, I think I'm just going to Sucker Punch him here, actually. We're going to get off some damage on this thing. It's going to do 52, not too much. Hammer Arm is, of course, going to be able to take us out. Now, what I can do is I can go into Smeargle, because we're faster. And I can just go for the uh, Spore. Yeah, we can just go for Spore right here. He brings in Magna Zone. Actually, he's burned. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to go for the uh, Stealth Rocks, because they're actually... Hold on. Can I cancel that? I hope I can cancel that. Are Stealth Rocks more important, or... Yeah, no, Stealth Rocks are more important because of the Torn. He's going to go for Thunderbolt. He's going to get us down to Sash. Uh, I would have Volt Switched there if I was my opponent, but that's fine. We're going to go for Sticky Web now. As both hazards are up, which is amazing. He's burned. Uh, we're going to go out into Scallopede right here. We know he's Specs. Uh, we're going to click uh, Protect, as he's probably just going to, of course, click um, Thunderbolt. At least I would hope so. No, he goes directly into Metagross. Okay, he gets the Speed Drop, which is good for us. Uh, I'm going to go for a substitute right here, see what he wants to do. And if he's only spamming Thunder Punch, then that's a good that's good news. He's going to go for Meteor Mash and miss. Ooh, that sucks. That really sucks. Uh, I can protect now. Okay, we're, get, we're about to get our sweep, guys. Finally, it is time. It is time. It is happening right here, right now. This is happening. Uh, we're going to go for a Baton Pass right here. Uh, and we're going to go out into Necrozma. And we are behind a sub, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to go for a Meter Mash. That's absolutely fine. We are going to go for a Calm Mind. We have Hidden Power Bug online. So that's really good. No, this. <laughs> GG, my opponent. Amazing. He's going to go for Meteor Mash. Uh, he's not going to get the attack raise, which means I'm going to be able to go for uh, another Calm Mind. Do I risk it, though? I've already got a really powerful Stored Power. Really fast Necrozma, which outspeeds everything on his team. I think I need the extra, though. Just for Tornadus. Then again, Tornadus can't do much to me. Um, 
Yeah, you know what? I think we're just gonna actually go for the hidden power bug. Uh, it should be able to knock him out from here. Base 60. Actually, maybe not. Maybe not. I think the better play is Calm Mining up again, actually. Uh, he's gonna go for another mash. He doesn't get a crit, luckily. That's amazing. And now we're gonna go for the hidden power bug. Actually, stored power might be better. Um, nope, it's not. It's definitely not. We'll go for the HP bug. Uh, right here. It should be able to knock him out. No, it's not. Wow. Okay, so there goes our Necrozma sweep. That's unfortunate. Um, we're gonna go out into Scizor. And we're gonna click Swords Dance now. Because everything on his team is slower than me, right? He's gonna go directly into, Gar into Landorus. This is fine. I'm gonna go for another Swords Dance. If he doesn't U-turn out into Garchomp, I think he loses. I'm pretty sure. Because Earthquake is gonna do a solid amount, but like... Unless that's defensive chomp. That's the only way. That's the only way you can get out of this at this point. But even that, like... Yeah, I'm gonna go for another SD. He's gonna go for his own SD, okay. Uh, I'm gonna knock you out with Bullet Punch, bro. You're gone. I don't know why you would make that play. Why wouldn't you just attack me? You're dead. Alright, cool. That's gone. Uh, Garchomp comes in. I think I'm gonna risk it and go for Bug Bite. That is really unfortunate that Hidden Power Bug didn't do enough. And he is Scarfed, okay. That's gonna be GG, unfortunately. Uh, unless I can dodge all the Fire Blasts. Let's see. Um, cause his Metagross might die to rocks. And his Magnezone is burned. So let's go for Sub. I know I'm faster than him, obviously. He goes for Fire Blast, that's fine. We're gonna Protect. I can't hit his Metagross. So it needs to die to rocks. We're gonna try. We're gonna try. We'll see. He's gonna go for another Fire Blast, that's fine. We're gonna go for another Sub right here. We're gonna stall him out of Fire Blasts. Uh, yeah, it's PP, exactly, that's exactly what it is. Ken stall meta. <laughs> there we go. Uh, we're gonna protect again. Eventually he'll miss a fire blast on my sub, or he'll just run out, which is, which works too. Um, he's gonna switch out now, which is a good play. Does he die to rocks? No, he does not, so that is GG. Alright, that's fine. Uh, no, you know what? We are gonna make this work. We are gonna make this work, guys, because it's worked so many times before already. It's just that I got greedy. I got greedy. I should have gone out into Scizor and set up a, a Swords Dance. Then that would have been really good, because I would have had all that speed. But I wanted to show it off. All right, this is another team that it can do well against. I just need to get rid of Muck, basically. Muck needs to go. All right, we're gonna lead off with uh, Smeargle. He's probably gonna lead off with his top of Finny because it's the best anti-Smeargle lead. Um, it can defog immediately. It's not affected by Spore either, so... Which is why I'm just gonna click Stealth Rocks, no matter what his lead is. He does have Hazard Removal, but if he, if he ever clicks Defog and I switch out into Bisharp, he's in trouble. So, let's lead off with Smeargle, of course. Let's go for the Stealth Rocks on his U-turn into Tapu Fini, more than likely. And then we will just... Uh, I think I might even just switch out directly into Bisharp on the Tapu Fini. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's go into Bisharp. As he goes for the Surf. Okay, wow. Alright, was not expecting that. I'm gonna go for a... Swap to... Swap to what? Hmm. No, I'm just gonna go for Iron Head. You know what? He's fully defensive. He goes for another Surf. That's fine. Uh, now I'm going to switch out... Nope, I'm just gonna Iron Head again. It's fine. He's going to go down to 48%, which is amazing. We're going to go out into Scallopede. We're going to set up a substitute as... Let's see what he does. All right, we're going to make it happen. We're going to make it happen right now. He's going to go out into Majorna. This is fine. We are going to... Uh, pr mm, mm. Don't really want to protect in front of this thing. Let's go for the Baton Pass, actually. Yeah, I'm going to Baton Pass immediately into Scizor. Give it some speed. He's gonna go for the Thunderbolt. That is gonna knock out our sub. However, I can go for a Swords Dance now. And be very, very strong. As let's see what he does. Uh, he goes for a Trick Room. This does not affect the fact that I have Bullet Punch in the least. Um, we're gonna go for an... Actually, we're gonna go for bullet, bullet right here. Okay. We get 58% off. That's pretty good. He goes for Volt Switch. So he's Thunderbolt Volt Switch. Okay. Cool. Um, he's gonna go into Marowak. This thing is a threat. <laughs> this thing is a big threat. Alright. I need to get damage off on Muck. Why is he not bringing in Muck? Okay, we're gonna go for another bullet punch. It's gonna do 39. He's gonna knock us out, obviously, with the fire punch. That's fine. Um, let's go into Smeargle, because basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kill off... 
uh, an extra turn of Trick Room so I can go into Scolipede and protect. And hopefully he keeps clicking Fire Punch and I can get out into Necrozma. But even that, that's not going to do it. Alright, we'll go into Scolipede now, we'll click Protect. Let the Trick Room die. And, uh, yeah. This is going to be tough at this point. He's going to go for another Fire Punch. Yep, that's fine. We're going to go for a Substitute. As he's probably just going to keep clicking Fire Punch. He is awesome. Let's click Protect again. As he clicks Fire Punch again. Cool. And now... Uh, no, I'm going to Sub again. This is fine. As, actually, you know what can put in a lot of work right now? Let's Baton Pass into Silvali. Because we have Shadow Ball. We are a Ghost type. He gets a crit. Does he get the burn? No. Cool. Alright, let's go for Shadow Ball. Knock this thing out. Beautiful. Alright. Let's see that Muck. There it is. Okay, he's gonna let me get damage off on it. That or he has Shadow Sneak. Either one. Um... Poison Dart. I think that burning this thing would be the best thing. So he's gonna go for Shadow Sneak. He is gonna knock out our Silvali right there. We're gonna go to, uh, into Scolipede. Uh, we're gonna go for the Protect, see what he wants to do, as he is gonna go for the Knockoff, okay, cool. We're gonna go for Sub, uh, as he is going to click Knockoff again, makes sense. Now, I don't think this thing's Knockoff takes out Necrozma because of the Prism Armor. The fact that it's a physical attacker as well. Uh, we're gonna go for another Protect. It definitely does not take out Necrozma, there's no way. And then we can start setting up on it. Shadow Sneak is gonna be super effective, but it's not Stab. So, we'll go for another sub. We're going to try to sweep right here, guys. That's what we're going to try to do. We are going to try to sweep. Uh, I don't need any more speed than this. So, I may want to keep this thing, just in case. No, well, he has a Genesect. It doesn't make any sense. We're going to protect again. And we are going to... Uh, I think just... Uh, baton Pass now? Yeah, let's Baton Pass now. Into Necrozma, this should not kill at all. Yeah, cool. Okay, that did no damage. Now we're going to start setting up some Calm Mines. As he goes for a Poison Jab, gets a crit. No poison though, awesome. Let's go for the Moonlight. As he goes for, of course, Shadow Sneak, and that's going to knock us out. So, if because of that crit right there, we uh, we lost the game. So, that's, uh, that's going to wrap it up. It's still a really cool team. Uh, I'd, I'd highly recommend you use it. I'm actually going to finish this off. Uh, by starting off a new game, but uh, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave uh, a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, make sure to uh, to try out the team if you want to. I'll leave a link to the pastebin as well down below. And uh, that's going to be it. Catch you guys later. Ciao.